Welcome to another Getting Started video for Octopus Deploy. This video will cover downloading the Tentacle installer, installing the Tentacle on Linux, and configuring the Tentacle in listening mode. You can download the Tentacle installer from octopus.com by navigating to the Downloads page under the Resources menu. Find the Octopus Tentacle in the list of tools and click on the Download button. On the Download page, click the Linux tab to see the installation options. There are options listed for the major package managers, as well as direct downloads. I'm installing on an Ubuntu machine, so I will use the steps for installing through apt-get. Now that the tentacle is installed, execute the configure tentacle script. Provide the name of the tentacle instance, or use the default name. Choose whether to use a listening tentacle or a polling tentacle. A listening tentacle will passively listen for tasks to perform from the Octopus server. This is the recommended communication style if you can allow connections from the Octopus server to the tentacle. If the Octopus server cannot send requests to the tentacle, you should consider using polling mode instead. You can watch a video on configuring a polling tentacle on Linux by clicking the annotation that just appeared in the top right corner of the video. Next, choose where the tentacle will store log files. Then choose where applications will be installed. Configure the listening port. The default is 10933. Enter the thumbprint of your Octopus server. This is the certificate thumbprint of your Octopus server and ensures that the tentacle will only accept communication from a server providing that thumbprint. You can find your server's thumbprint in the Octopus Manager or on the listening tentacle setup page in the infrastructure section. Now that you've entered the information required, the script will display the commands that are going to be executed. These commands can be the basis for automating the tentacle installation. See the links in the description for more information about automating the tentacle configuration. Press Enter to configure the tentacle. The output of the commands will be displayed to you. Once the install is complete, you're ready to start using your tentacle. Here are some tips for installing and configuring a listening tentacle on Linux. Choose a listening tentacle if your Octopus server can send requests to the machine hosting the tentacle. For large-scale installations, you can automate the tentacle installation with a package manager and the tentacle command line interface. Manage upgrades of your tentacles directly from the Octopus web portal. Thanks for watching this Getting Started video, and happy deployments!